Portsmouth for another Vicky Explores. We've just left one mode of transport and we're off in search of another. This is the marina, so we've come to get the ferry from Exmouth to Starcross. Aha, I can see a sign. So we're definitely, we're definitely in the right place. It says not only is this the quickest route to Starcross, but you also get to witness the beautiful scenery surrounding the River X. to terra firma, we're off to find Brunel's atmospheric railway. I think it might be here. So straight away we found what was the old pumping station, which as you expect, is right by the railway. <laughs> right on the platform of the station. So to, so to get to the ferry, you have to go through the station. So what is an atmospheric railway? Uh, so the idea was that instead of having an engine, a locomotive that would pull a train along the tracks, that you would create air pressure through pipes that would propel a train along instead. Um, the one here uh, was built by Isambard Kingdom, uh, Mr. I.K. Uh, Brunel. Um, but he wasn't the first person to use an atmospheric railway. When we were in Ireland, uh, we went to Dorkey and the line from Kingstown, what now is Dunleary to Dublin, was also an atmospheric railway. Notoriously though, atmospheric railways didn't work perfectly. Um, there was always issues with the pressure in the pipes, being able to contain that pressure and keep it sealed until it was needed. There was also issues with the stationary locomotives creating that pressure and those engines would have been in pumping houses like the one that we saw just along from the railway station here. Um, so atmospheric railways were a great idea but in practice they never really worked properly. So after a few years in service, this one here and others um, around Britain and in Ireland stopped working in favour of your more traditional steam hauled locomotives. Look, I found a picture. Um, so I think the idea was that these pipes in between the rails, they contained the, the air pressure and then at different points along the way, um, you could tap into that and pro propel uh, the, the engine, the train along. If it was flat, you could, you, were allowed, you could have smaller tubes because you didn't need as much pressure. But if you're going up a hill, then you'd need bigger uh, pipes, bigger tubes, because you'd need more pressure. And it was difficult to keep those two things regulated. There's a plaque. <laughs> is in Marquis de Brunel, Atmospheric Railway Pumping House, 1845 to 1846. That's how short-lived it was. 
What I'd really like to know is, was Atmospheric Railways one of those crazy eccentric Victorian ideas and they were never ever going to work or were they an idea that just needed technology to catch up with it so if people tried to do it today would it work? Today we've been from Exmouth on the ferry to Starcross to check out the incredible and rather bizarre Brunel Atmospheric Railway. And here, signing us off, is a train!